I think when phase one started, no one expected it to be so prolonged, right? There were periods where we thought there wasn't going to be a deal. So it's anybody's guess whether this will be very swift or very prolonged again, and what kind of impact it will have. It really, I feel that it's hard to predict these days. Um, your CEO has, mm -hmm. in recent days, mm -hmm. talked about economic devastation for Hong Kong from mm. the ongoing protests. Right. Um, the exchange actually did remarkably well mm. in 2019 in spite mm -hmm. of seven to eight months of protests. Yes. Yes. Um, what do you think the impact will be in 2020? Well, I think uh, we did well because of you know, various factors. Well, our, our daily turnover, our trading volume did take a hit. Uh, and thankfully, it has come back quite nicely in the last month. Uh, we hope that it will continue. And the impact that we, con we are concerned with are really the volume, the trading volume. When the investor confidence is less uh, friendly, or rather they would look for other alternative markets, then the volume goes away, and that is our concern. But so far, we have been able to keep the investors interested in us, attracted to our market by really the quality of our market and, of course, the various listings that you have mentioned. This is the biggest delegation yeah. to the World Economic Forum since C.H. Tung, I think, right. almost 20 yes. years. Um, it, are you pleased that finally it seems the Hong Kong government is getting on the front foot? Because to a lot of yes. international observers, mm -hmm. It's been behind this story oh, all the way along. Yes. I think um, uh, as far as the World Economic Forum is concerned, you are correct that uh, since C.H. Tong's time, there was a period of inactivity, non-presence of the Hong Kong uh, government. I have been coming uh, consistently, and I'm very pleased to see a big delegation this time. Uh, it is, uh, uh, last year we already have a big delegation, but this year is bigger than last year. And for the very reason that Hong Kong needs to get our story out, need to tell people that we are open for business. And yes, there are unrest. Yes, uh, what you see on television, but there is another side of it. As you say, the financial market has done well. Our capital uh, market is still very strong. There has not been any significant outflow of capital. All this point to the fact that people, investors, global investors, still see us as an attractive market. And there are obviously these signs of concern. And we very much hope that the concern can be addressed very soon. You have a, a unique mm -hmm. insight given you were on the National People's Congress mm -hmm. until very recently. Mm -hmm. Do you think that Beijing is prepared to be patient with the Hong Kong government and allow it to resolve this situation mm. locally? I believe that it will and uh, it should. It's a local issue under one country, two system. We should be able to resolve the issues and the government are beginning to resolve some of the issues already. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.